Today's video is a little bit of a cheat sheet answering that all important question of should you look into eating less if you're trying to lose weight? Because there's a lot of confusing stuff out there. On one hand, cutting back on your diet is one of the fastest and most effective ways to speed up fat loss. On the other hand, people are like, no, don't eat too little. And you hear these horror stories of people who keep eating less and less and they get all slow and sluggish and all sorts of crazy stuff happens. So the answer is, of course, well, it depends. Some people should be eating less, some people should not be eating less. And that's what today's video is gonna answer for you on where you fit in the category. Eating less is kind of like people who are trying to cut back on expenditures. If you are cutting back on luxury items, then you're probably gonna be uh, better off, you're probably gonna be okay. But at a certain point, you're no longer cutting back on luxury items, you're cutting back on essentials, like I don't need heat, I don't need to pay the electric bill, ah, the car doesn't need gas, I can just walk everywhere. Now you're talking about serious quality of life issues. So that's where you wanna first look into, is luxury calories. Do you have a lot of luxury calories in your diet? If so, cutting back on these will certainly be beneficial in your weight loss efforts. Number one uh, source is, are you eating to the point where you're feeling satisfied and full, or, or, or are you eating like till you're stuffed? Because remember, luxury calories, they could come from any food, food source. They could come from any uh, meal at any time. So anytime you're eating, you're feeling okay, and then you continue eating to clean your plate or whatever, those are luxury calories. You could probably cut those out of your diet. Second is beverages. You can uh, cut back huge amounts of calories, and a lot of times sugar, from beverages. I was with a friend of mine one time eating an ice cream sandwich. She had this, you know, frappo, latto, chino, maco, whatever kind of thing. And I pulled up the nutritional information. Uh, calorically, it was, twice what the ice cream sandwich was. I'm like, I could eat two of these and still be ahead of you. And sugar-wise, I could eat five ice cream sandwiches and it's still less sugar in one of those beverages. So as a general rule of thumb, I usually tell people, I don't drink anything really with calories to it. I drink a lot of tea, uh, diet soda if I really want something bubbly, water, uh, maybe the occasional beer. But I do not make beverages with calories a big part of my diet. Snacks, you know, I'm a big fan of eat food, meals, something that's really gonna stick to you. Not the, not a big fan of like chips and crackers and little nibbly things, okay? Sweets, uh, that can come and go. If you're gonna have dessert, make sure it's a viable part of the meal. Not something that you eat till you're full, then you have dessert afterwards. S literally save room for dessert, uh, and you can cut back a lot there. And also supplements. You know, a lot of times we get in our mind of like, well, supplements don't really count. Well, yeah, pills like vitamin pills, yeah, that, they don't have calories. But uh, people ask me, if I'm trying to lose weight, what should I eat after my workout? Most of the time, nothing, especially if you've got a meal coming in the next couple of hours. I know people will say, well, you gotta eat right after to recover. No, you don't. You only, the, the only thing you're doing with eating or adding extra food into your diet by eating right after workout is it's slightly enhancing the speed of the recovery. But I promise you, you're gonna recover just fine if you still just have three square meals a day. So those are your luxury calories. That's a big thing to look for. Uh, other things to consider, your base metabolic rate. Go online, just search for a couple of calculators. Do like four or five of them, get an average, because some of them are gonna be really high, some are gonna be really low. Know what your BMR is. And I don't recommend eating too much less than your BMR on a regular basis. So most, uh, some people that come to me are like, my BMR is 2,600 calories. No, no it's not, dude. Mine, I'm like 180 pounds uh, or so, it's like 1,600, 1,650 or so. It's gonna be in the teens, unless you're Shaquille O'Neal or something. So know what that are, is, and one of the things I usually recommend is eat-ish to your BMR, maybe 100 calories more or so, two to three times a week. When you do that, what ends up happening is all of the calories you're expending, your workout, your moving around, whatever you're doing, walking the dog, that is contributing to your weight loss because you know you're not putting it back with food for that day. Just make sure you're not eating too much on the rest of the days and that should speed up your weight loss. Otherwise, if uh, you're, you know, you're eating roughly to BMR these days and so forth, you don't have a lot of this stuff in your diet, stop trying to eat less. It's gonna be more about the activity and exercises that's gonna speed up your weight loss. Questions down below, be fit, live free.